thousands of women who developed ovarian cancer after extended use of talcum powder products are now suing manufacturers such as Johnson & Johnson, alleging that they knew about the dangers of talc and failed to warn them. In this video, we will look at the talcum powder cancer lawsuits and their settlement value. If you have a potential claim, call our talcum powder lawyers today before it's too late. The primary ingredient in baby powder is talc. Talc is a mineral that often has asbestos. We've known for years that asbestos exposure leads to many diseases, including ovarian cancer and mesothelioma. So it's no surprise that scientific studies have shown that talc, the active ingredient in talcum powder products such as baby powder, shower to shower, and gold bonds, can cause ovarian cancer in some women. The talcum powder class action MDL lawsuits against Johnson & Johnson are still ongoing. So far, over 20,000 individual talcum powder lawsuits have been filed across the country and consolidated into the talcum powder MDL. In October 2020, Johnson & Johnson announced that it was agreeing to pay $100 million to settle 1,000 of these cases. More bulk settlements from Johnson & Johnson are expected to follow. At this point, it's pure speculation to predict the settlement value of the talcum powder lawsuits. Still, victims want to know what their case might be worth in compensation. Johnson & Johnson recently announced that it would pay $100 million to settle a group of about 1,000 talcum powder cases. This works out to a rough average settlement of approximately $100,000 per case. This value could be a decent indication of the ultimate settlement value of the remaining talcum powder lawsuits. But we think the true settlement value of the talc powder ovarian cancer lawsuits could be higher. Many of these baby powder lawsuits that settled would not have made the best cases in court. Our lawyers think that the average settlement value of the most clear-cut talcum powder cases, particularly wrongful death cases, could be as much as 50% higher than the group that was settled before. It's likely not too late to file your own talcum powder lawsuit but you have to act quickly to make a claim. If you used a talcum powder product regularly for one year or longer, and you've been diagnosed with ovarian cancer within the last three years, call our lawyers today for a free case evaluation. Although the talcum powder litigation has been going on for a long time and some cases have already settled, it's not too late to participate in the lawsuit and get compensation for your own injuries.